Lee Kerslake. Um, oh. You're currently on tour with uh, with uh, Deep Purple. Uh, yeah. How does it feel to uh, present such a great um, classic rock package uh, to the audience? Is it uh, a special feeling? Fabulous. It's wonderful. It's um, something we always look forward to doing with Deep Purple because we get on with friends and we get on very well. We re uh, ultimate respect for them as they have for us. And um, for us to do this package, it's, we have just charted in Norway and Finland in one little album in the summer. So we're adding to their sales, which is great. All we'd like to do now is take it on around the world. That would be fabulous because it is, everybody's getting value for money. Two great bands together in a package. It reminds me of... 25, 30 years, 1972, when we first went on tour with Deep Purple in America, and they helped break us. Um, have you uh, kept in touch all the time, or do you just meet when you, when you when go on tour? When we meet, yeah. yeah, because I live in another country. I live in the Canary Islands, and some live in Ibiza, some live in Menorca. But, um, yeah, we, we, you know, it's like we don't see them for, like... Well, we, last year we were in tour with them for a few gigs, so we see them nearly every year. You have released a lot of live albums uh, and the best of albums um, last years. Um, you don't release many studio albums anymore. It takes like uh, well several years between each. Uh, how come? Well, we do when we get a chance, but we just haven't got a record company that we agree and like at the moment. The record companies, are, you know, a lot of the record companies are a bit, a bit shitty this day and age. They sort of they aim at the young kids and don't want to know, the, the, you know, about our, ourselves, which upsets me a lot. But that's the way the business is at the moment. So to get back to it, we do do some live albums to let people know we're still playing, we're still working, and uh, we release them out. Keep uh, keep active. Keep them uh, uh, realise, as I said, it's, we are still very busy, still very active. Uh, so you have control over the, uh, the live albums oh, and the yes. best of albums? Yeah, we mix them and we have control over them. What we don't have control over is the best ofs because they're owned by Sanctuary and they just do whatever they please. They own them, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, I just received um, your Ahib Tribute album. Um, do you find those interesting at all? Uh, your Ahib Tribute album? Uh, I haven't I've seen one, so I don't know. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I think that's wonderful. Good, it keeps the band. The band will never die. We, 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 we're a cult band from the 70s, and we'll never die. We'll keep on going. So we're in Zimmer frames. Uh, even though it takes a while between each studio album, uh, do you write uh, music all the time? Yeah, it remains basically the writing is between Mick and Phil and um, Trevor. I've been writing with an, an, another band that I've been putting together with... Um, Bob Daisley, Jimmy Barnes, Steve Morse. We've kind of just finished an album, which we're very pleased about. That should be out in February, March of next year. Is that uh, a permanent band or is it a project? It's just a project. Mm -hmm. You know, we've we've got we've done some Aussie songs, which we wrote, co-wrote, and we've done some new songs with Jimmy Barnes and Steve, which we wrote in the studio. And uh, so far, the, the, the man of kickback is everybody says it's superb, terrific. Uh, so it's kind of an all-star band. Uh, does it have a name, the project? We haven't got a, a name yet. We, yep. The album is called Relentless because it is, was relentless. We just non-stop work. For three and a half weeks we did that album and, and that's going some. So it's called Relentless, but we haven't got a name for the band yet. We're still trying to find one. Uh, you said you uh, re-recorded some old um, Aussie, Aussie stuff. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Sharon uh, took us off the drums and bass guitar. Yeah, no. Uh, how do you feel? Uh, first of all, um, that... Uh, the law suit against us. You didn't get your money. No, we're still uh, suing. No, we're still going. They're still going ahead. The law suit. We didn't. We haven't given up. No, you haven't. No, no, no I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to give up on that woman. She, she'd have to kill me first, <laughs> because she owes us money that she doesn't have rights to keep, and that's a typical thing of her and her family. They're, you know, they're like bloody con merchants, villains. So. You know, as far as I'm concerned, I'm not, I know she'd have to kill me to stop me from suing her. Uh, how did you feel when you heard that uh, they are re-releasing uh, the two first Aussie albums well, without they did, the reason uh, they did that is so she doesn't have to pay, think she doesn't have to pay me any money because mm. she thinks if she gets another drummer on there, that's how callous she is. She doesn't care about the quality of the, the, the band, what it was. 
We sold 40 million, I think it is, albums of those with me and Bob and Randy and, that, and, and Oz in that quality and that character. Why would you put something else on when it's already proven that it works? It's because you didn't want to pay us any royalties. Uh, is this uh, personal against Asi as well or no. just Sharon? Do you ever talk to him? No, I, I don't speak to him, but I feel sorry for him because, um, you know, he's, he's had a hard life. He's had a crazy life. But she's the boss. She wears the trousers in the family. And uh, she's a tough nut. I, 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 I don't like her, but I respect her because she's done, got him. After we set him up for those two top albums, he went into the charts and that was it. She carried him going, kept him on going. All I wanted to do is be paid so I can keep looking after my family, my grandkids. Uh, have you been doing any side projects uh, besides RC and, and your uh, new project now? The old no, Star I've Wars. just been doing that new project. We've been waiting nearly 10 years to, do, to get that together, me and Bob. And it was a wonderful thing to Steve Morse to want to do it and Jimmy Barnes to want to do it and Don Airy has done the keyboard. So it was a wonderful thing. You know, we, we've done it. We do, we'll probably do it, if this, if this is successful, I more or less guarantee another album. We're doing another, probably Relentless too. <laughs> uh, do you think you'll be touring with that band? Hmm. Oh, yeah, we'll promote it. You know, like um, Steve does when he does Deep Pearl and then just Dixie Dregs mm. and, then, and then does the Steve Morse band. Yeah, we'll, we'll do a you know, promotion tour. But uh, my heart's always with the heat. Yeah. It's just that I, I feel that I, it's about time that I would put some of uh, my, my keenness and my attitude into something else. So, You know, because I don't write the same as Mickey and Phil for the heat. I write more ballads, but then I've also got another way of writing. So let's hope it happens. Have you got any idea when we can see uh, the next studio album from Your Heap with new songs? Sure, we get a record deal on. We're hoping for this new, the new year, the coming of next year. Okay. So you're negotiating with different labels? We've or got just? three or four on the go. But what we'd like to do, we just want to see which is going to be the best because it's, it's not just putting the money up for, to record the album it's backing it up putting it in the shops publicising it that's where a lot of the record companies let, 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 let their acts down they say oh hey we got them for 50, 60, 70, 80, 100 grand put it in the studio see if it sells itself if it doesn't well we haven't lost anything and that's wrong they've got to work as hard as we do uh, what do you think your latest albums uh, sound like compared to your old classic albums? I mean, uh, Sea of Light and, and also your... Oh, the uh, quality of recording is ten times better than it was in those days. But the songs are great too, modern. And a lot of the, the ideas of the songs are update, modern, but they've got the, the, the trait of the dry heat. You know, the riffs and the flowing and the harmonies. Because we'd always be the harmony rock band. Sure. That's part of our trait. That's yeah. what we're recognized for. Uh, when you're on tour now, uh, I think I guess people are longing to hear most of your classics. Uh, do you feel like playing uh, some of the stuff uh, that maybe you recorded long ago, but that isn't regarded a classic? Uh, um, it all depends because if we do our own show, we do an hour and forty minutes. We do a lot of the old classics and some that are not so classic. But we've got to do an, uh, an impact hour, so we put in all the songs that people recognize and remember, plus a few new ones. That's the only way you get to get it across. Um, you did uh, kind of a re reunion in London uh, not long ago with uh, Ken Hensley yeah, and, yeah. and Lawton. Yeah. Uh, how was that to, to share the uh, same stage again? Uh, well, as I said, we buried the hatchet, my, myself and Ken. Could let bygones be bygones. I mean, I, I changed my attitude towards everything. When I was in New York the day the, day the plane hit, I was just about 700 meters away from the plane hitting that I saw it and hit the building and myself and Bob tried to help we didn't know what to do we said you know, we went down to the police can we give blood or can we help in any way and he just said we don't know what's happening we don't know what's happening just stay up just stay away that was terrible and I changed my attitude since then and I just oh what the hell life is, is too short All right, Ken to hell with it don't worry about it just bury the hatchet and um, you know we just let it go I've given him. So you still talk to him now after the show? I see him, yeah, I told him. I give him a big hug after the show. I haven't seen him since. <laughs>